Hey guys, take a to video for guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone if your iMessage is not working. If you're trying to text someone, maybe the blue button, the blue button doesn't show up, or when you try to text it, it doesn't go as the blue; it goes as green. What can you do to fix your problem? So let's get started and show you all the stuff that you need to know in order to fix the problem. So. It's going to be a lot of things that you need to consider when it comes to fixing your iMessage as there are comp settings that we need to look at. But before you even start this process is that let's say you are messaging someone maybe in the past they were blue now they're starting to show up green is to verify that the person that you're texting didn't switch over to Android phone. So when it comes to iMessage to work correctly they have to have an Apple device whether it's an iPad or iPhone, it has to be Apple or else it will not work with your iMessage. So sometimes people switch phones and they might have went to Android with their number and you're texting them thinking why iMessage isn't working, it might just be that. Now it's something to just consider but the next thing you want to do is that if you know that they still have iPhone and still not working for you, it's go ahead and turn your phone in airplane mode for about a few seconds and then turn it back off and that does a quick network refresh for your cellular data or Wi-Fi so that if there's an issue with your connectivity it will fix it as you know iMessage requires an active internet connection whether through your Wi-Fi or your cellular data so if you're having issues with either of those connecting to the internet iMessage will not work so that has to be corrected now the next thing you want to check in your iPhone is if you're using your Wi-Fi, make sure it's connected to Wi-Fi here. Now, if you're using cellular data, make sure cellular data is turned on as well. Now, the other thing you want to do if you're still having issues is to verify on Apple's site is if their iMessage servers are working and the service is up and running. To do that, you'll go into any browser, search up Apple system status. So if you search that up, the very first page site that will come to is Apple system services so if you click on this one right it will take us to a site from Apple that provides us with the status of all the services that they're providing if there's a maintenance or if a service is down it'll show up here for example Apple Pay and Wallet at this certain time there's some maintenance happening so it might be unavailable for you as you can see here but if you click on here to expand all the services there's one for iMessage so if you look here iMessage verify that it says available here for you so if you see here if it's available that means it's working and if for some reason it's not available or aren't available you have to wait for apple to fix it generally they will fix it themselves within a few minutes to a few hours generally it doesn't take long for apple to fix that issue because everyone relies on iphone to be able to use their iMessages now the next thing you want to check if your iMessage still isn't working and you check that it's available is going to your setting of your iphone Go to general and this time you need to go ahead and verify under date and time is that the time zone that you're in is actually the correct time zone meaning your local time matches up with your time that you're in and it might not match up especially if you're traveling or moved or you know in a different zone and if it doesn't you can turn off set automatically adjust the time zone yourself manually by picking the exact date and time and then if you can go back to setting it again to automatically usually the automatically is the best way to do it but if it doesn't pick it up automatically you'll have to manually adjust the time and date but it has to be the correct time and date locally for you now after you have done that it's time to check another setting on your iPhone is under the settings of your iPhone in your messages here you want to ensure that this iMessage is turned on if it's not and then you're receive and send is has both your email and your phone number if you're using a phone number but generally you need one or the other selected here what you'll need to do is if it's still if it's there go ahead and turn off iMessage for a brief moment here so if you turn it off give it a few seconds to turn it back on and that should again as you can see waiting for activation reactivate iMessages if it's not working for some reason and hopefully and after that you should see again send and receive populate again again that will kind of let you know that it is working for you now after you have done that it's time to go ahead and force restart your iPhone so in order to do a force restart you're gonna press and release the volume up press and release the volume down so 
volume up and volume down one after another and then hold the side button until the screen goes completely black and you see the Apple logo reappear and at that time it'll let go of that button. So it'll do volume up, volume down, finally hold the side button and as you can see here the phone is asking for me to slide to power off but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep on holding the side button so that it's forcing it to shut down completely and then the Apple logo will reappear that means the phone will reload the code. So if it's a software-related issue impacting iMessages, it will fix that for us. Now, this method will not delete any of your personal data. So all of your photos, videos, apps will still be there. You don't have to worry about losing any of your data. Now, after you have done that, go ahead and get back into your iPhone here. And after you have done that, the next thing you want to check in your iPhone here is go ahead and if it's still not working, go ahead into your settings, general, go all the way down here where it says transfer reset iPhone. We'll click on reset and then we we'll click on the first option for reset and we need to perform a network a reset. The reason why you need to do a network reset is it's going to reset like save Wi-Fi password, any Bluetooth connected devices. But it's important to do that to fix any connectivity issue with your iPhone. Generally, this will take about maybe a minute or so but it will not delete any of your personal data. So all of your photos, videos, apps will still be there so it's safe to do. Now lastly, if it's still not working and you tried all this stuff, it's time to see if there's an update available from Apple. In order to check update is available, go into your settings again, you're going to general software update and it will look for an update. If it's available, make sure you're connected to again internet or cellular data. And if there's an update available, go ahead and update your phone by clicking on that update now. And when you do this, make sure your phone is at least 50% or more charged. Again, give yourself about half an hour to 45 minutes to do the update. And once you do the update, hopefully iMessage is working for you. And that's it for the video. I hope by now your iMessage is working. If so, please make sure to the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.